Before you begin trying Fusion for yourself, I just want to show you a few of the key features, a few of the things that makes Fusion so uh, easy to use uh, and so great for what we're trying to achieve. So here's a design I did a few years ago for the new computer science room uh, at West Island School. So what do we need to know? We've got the model here. In the top corner here, we have what's known as the view cube. And by clicking on different surfaces, we can see uh, the, the drawing from different angles. If you notice there, I went from top, I clicked on the little house button that brought me back to the 3D view. So now I'm gonna click the front view, and then I'm gonna click back on the house button so we can see from the 3D view. Now I'm gonna do the right view, and again, back on the house button. So no matter where you end up, by clicking on the house button, it's always gonna take you back to that original place. So you can always find your way home from there. Over at the side here, we can switch on and off different important features. So I could switch off all the bodies, all the parts of the drawing, or I could choose to switch off just individual parts of it if I want to see only parts of the drawing. So I've got a lot of control there. Uh, similarly, sketches, which is where I've done all my drawings, all will appear here and I can switch them on and off as well. And then at the bottom, if I click the all the way back button and then play, you can actually see the process that I went through to do my drawing originally. So we can go back and have a look at absolutely everything that we did um, to make sure that we've done it in the correct sequence or, or even to make changes if there are things that we're not happy about. And it's exactly the same in any uh, anything you've drawn. So if I just switch here to the teddy bear one, We'll just give that a second to load. Uh, again, here's my teddy bear, and I can see it from the top. I can see it from the sides. I can see it from underneath. And I can always just click home. And then it will take me back to that view. And again, I can switch off my bodies and, and so on over here. So this is the view cube, vitally important. Um, and then these are, are the command tree at the side and, and the history down here so we can see what's going on. I'm just going to come to this untitled drawing now. It's likely that when you open it, you're going to see something more like that. I find that a slightly confusing view. So I would just click at the top back corner of the view cube and that will spin it around. So we've got these three surfaces. So it's like drawing on the floor and two different walls. Like we've got a corner there. I'm just gonna switch on my sketches because I've drawn three sketches earlier. I drew one sketch here, one here, and one here. And I've just done that to illustrate the importance of getting things correctly positioned. So now I'm gonna extrude it in circle. And because it's on the floor, if I extrude it, it becomes 3D going up in this direction. If I had done that to one of the wall ones instead, it's gonna pull out in this direction instead. So depending what I want to do exactly will depend which of the sketches I work from. And I've known students before who draw something on the wrong sketch and then get confused because when they then come to add material to it like this, it's not going the, the way they would have expected it to. So Fusion will do exactly what you ask it to do. It's just very important that you consider exactly what you want Fusion to do, so you ask it to do the thing that you really wanted it to do and not something different from what you wanted it to do. Okay, so a very brief introduction to Fusion.